So we're gonna make this brass cleaning solution. First thing you're gonna need is peroxide, then white vinegar, and something to measure with, because we're gonna need equal parts of both. Let me get rid of this and make some new solution. So take a glass or plastic container and fill it with equal parts of peroxide to vinegar. So I'm just gonna mix it around a little bit, but this is what it looks like. It just looks like water. So this is a piece of brass soldered to another piece of brass. I'm gonna have to pickle this and then we'll be able to actually use the solution we made. So after a couple minutes in the pickling solution, it will look like this, and we wanna get rid of all this copper. That's what the solution is for. With the solution you just made, it will eat all the copper off of this and change it to a bluish color instead of looking clear like water. So the reason why this is blue is I've already used this solution. So when you put yours in there, it won't just turn blue like this. It will slowly do it. As you can see, it's already starting to bubble and eat away the copper. So just leave it in there for about 10 minutes and check on it and see if all the copper is gone. So this has been in the solution for about 30 minutes. And as you can see, all the surface copper is gone. So it's a very simple way to get copper off of brass after putting it through high heat and pickling it. I didn't know about this until someone on my Instagram kind of just told me the ingredients and I tried it out for myself and it works really good. Just a little side note, if you have other metals attached to your brass, you can still do this. So if you have copper attached to it, it will eat a thin coat of it off, but it's not noticeable unless you keep it in there overnight or for more than one day and then you'll, you'll have no copper left. So that's it. It's a little short, sweet video, but it's really helpful. If you don't know what pickling solution is, check out one of my other videos on how to remove tarnish. And if you don't know how to solder, I have a quick video on some of my soldering, and I'm going to be putting out more later on. Uh, other than that, subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment asking questions or requesting other videos. And yeah, that's about it. I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.